Hello everybody, welcome back. Another Let's Install, this time PS4 exclusive Days Gone. It comes out, I think, in two days. But uh, thanks to Amazon Prime, here it is nice and early. Anyway, physical copy, uh, advertising, and the old uh, button maps. Cool. All right, in she goes. All right. Is that, uh, seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? Hopefully that's uh, a little bit better. All right, what do we got here? Did that just say, what have we got here? 17, call it 17 and a half gig off the disc. We're looking at 22 minute install. I would think it'd be 17 and a half minutes to install. It's typically one gig a minute off a disc. Uh, and, ah, did we see, that's version 1.0, okay, disc is printed with version 1.0, that's 17 and a half gig, and what have we got here in day one patch, version 1.03, preparing to download. Well, I really want to know how big it is. 17 gig, 20 minutes, notifications, blah, blah, blah. Uh, preparing to download, allocating disk space. Um, while we wait, there's a whole bunch of other videos you can check out on youtube.com slash geekaloud. A lot of Let's Plays, few Let's Installs, they're all there for you in playlists. So, you know, pick a game that you like, click on it, go through, enjoy it. Uh, and here's the answer. 23.769 gigs for the day one patch, assuming they don't release another one in the next day and a half. Um, 52 minutes, that seems a little bit over the top. I would think that should be closer to about 25 minutes. But, for now. We'll leave this installing, we'll check it out. Once this is complete, we'll jump over, we'll look at the download. Uh, that's the crucial bits of information. Enjoy.
Hey guys, just getting a couple of questions I thought I'd answer. Uh, a physical copy of Days Gone, PS4 exclusive. Uh, I got it from Amazon Prime. They sent it to me early, you know, lucky me. And only paid like 52 bucks for it, which is awesome. Here's Let's Install. Oh, I should go over. So this is the version 1.0. This is coming off the disc, 17 and a half gig. And the day one patch is 1.03 and it is 23 gig, I want to say. 23.769 gig, let's call it 23.77, why not? Anyway, so it looks like about 50 minutes, so I should be able to stream some Let's Play of Days Gone, but until then, enjoy the Let's Install.
Okay, looks like we have almost finished installing off the disc. As I was saying, version one. Uh, this is, of course, Days Gone, PlayStation exclusive physical disc. It's in the console, believe it or not. Uh, button map is it. No manual, no nothing crazy. Even the back of the box is pretty bare bones. Of course, that's not in focus, and I don't have a second camera here to make that look good. But it is a thing, I assure you. <clears throat> so, we'll get this installed. There's also a day one patch going, which is, what did we say, 23 and a half gig-ish, happening at the same time. 23.8, we'll call it. It's saying 37 minutes, but I'm really surprised that that's going slow. I suspect, though, if it was going to speed up, it should have by now. Copying disk complete. 37 minutes. There we go. 16 gigs recalculates once it's done the install. We've seen that on plenty of other installs, uh, of which they're on the uh, playlist. YouTube.com slash Geek Aloud. There's a playlist there called Let's Install. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> you can uh, go back and enjoy those. There's also a whole bunch of Let's Plays. They're also in their own playlists per video game. So if you're into Serico, for example, uh, Sekiro, I should say. Uh, there's a playlist that I'm playing through at the moment. I'm stuck at Mr. Seven Spears, but I just got that poison knife thing. So uh, I think next time I give it a crack, that should work just fine. But until then, let's let this install. Oh, and hi, Chills Boy.
All right, let's see how we're going here. 55 seconds until Days Gone is installed. For those wondering, uh, Days Gone, physical addition to installing. Um, I purchased it on Amazon and Amazon Prime sent it to me a day and a half early. So here we are, we find ourselves in the fortuitous position of uh, getting the let's install the hard facts about how many gigabytes are on the disc and how many gigabytes are in the day one patch. Short answer is 17 gig on the disc, 23 gig on the uh, day one patch. Uh, you know, here we go, let's get into it. Um, you're watching live, of course, youtube.com slash geekloud. Thank you for joining me. Uh, official streams are Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Time. Um, yeah, come join us. There's a whole bunch of uh, Sekiro from the last couple of weeks up there in a playlist you may want to check out if you're into that sort of thing. Copying content, who authorizes this? Well, I'm not going to skip it. Nope, turn the controller on first, you idiot. Let's have a look while well, that works itself out at the storage requirements. Now the back of the box says 50 gig minimum. I know you can't really see that, but you'll just have to take my word for it. It says 50 gig minimum install. Uh, we have 17 on the disc and 23. So we, you know, it should be pushing around 40-ish. Uh, what is this, days? That's D, D is directly after C, if you're new to the English alphabet. Yeah, here we go, 43.17 gigs. And I assume this will say it's version 1.03? Nope, version 1.0, it's still off the disk. I guess the uh, who is still happening. Wow, why would an update freeze? That doesn't sound right. That should just mow on through, like the files there local. Hmm. I could either start the application without updating, then back out and see what happens. We could let it sit here and see if it works itself out. I'm getting a little impatient though, I'll be honest. <clears throat> a little impatient. Uh, what say you people in the uh, live chat land? Do we start application without updating? Kind of feels like only a half an install though if I do that. I wonder if we jump in, I'm not actually going to play Apex Legends here guys, I'm just going to kick this off so the hard drive's doing something, then I'll quit out of the application and maybe that'll kick um, Days Gone in the teeth. Close that one. Ah, oh, and stupid me, I should have had that closed the whole time. Maybe that's why the uh, Delm's going, yeah, there we go. <laughs> the old shut the application before the uh, update happens. Now you know. Now we both know, because I had no idea. But we worked it out. It's all good. Uh, yeah, so what's going to happen here? This Let's Install Finish, I'll just launch it and make sure, because some games, uh, Call of Duty, I'm looking at you, sometimes it can, um, it says like it does this, and it says it's all patched uh, and ready to go, and then you launch into it, and then it downloads another patch uh, before it lets you play. So we'll let the 1.03 patch install itself, then we'll kick it off, but when we get to the, you know, start new game screen, the uh, main menu if you will. When we get there, uh, we'll kill this stream, that'll be the end of this Let's Install video, and then, you know, five minutes later, I'll kick the stream back off, we'll back in, we'll have a Let's Play of Days Gone from the beginning, very shortly, here on youtube.com slash Uh Let's go here. Did I mention there's a Sekiro Get Good video I want you to watch? It's on the channel, in the Sekiro playlist. It's only about two or three videos back though. All right, here we go, days go on. What do we got? Days gone. It'd be classic if it didn't progress beyond this screen until it, you know, until the time of release. Nope, here we go. Beyond Studio, Bend Studio. I don't know why I read that as Beyond, because uh, I'm dyslexic. I always thought it was Studio Bend, not Bend Studio, but knowing is half the battle. That's a very fancy looking 3D modeled ring loading spinner. Reminds me a little bit of the old, um, whatchamacallit, Skyrim. Skyrim has that, you know, 
item rotation thing. Uh, for those just joining us, Days Gone, physical edition, with day one patch installed. What are we at now? 47 minutes uh, is what you should expect. Uh, and you'd probably get a way quicker download if you bloody close Apex Legends or any game that uh, speaks to an online back end. Uh, that was quite foolish of me not to have that turned off, but it doesn't matter. Here we are. Uh, and once again, I'm wondering, like, is this an install? I can't imagine you'd see this amount of loading every time you turned the game on. Like if you played something else and then came back to this, that you'd have to sit through this. It must be doing something. Extracting something, installing something. Who knows? But we won't call it the end of the install until this finishes. So, you know, it's kind of on them. Wonder if we can get this done before 50 minutes. So they've got two minutes, maybe we'll get to the main menu. And we'll call that a completed let's install. While we wait, as I said, please check out the other playlists on youtube.com slash uh, all broken into various games. Playlists for each game, so you can dive back through the archive. Uh, what have we got? Complete Red Dead Redemption 2. I say complete, the Red Amphibian is actually going for 100%, so I'm not that crazy. Not that you're crazy, the Red Amphibian. I'm not that, uh, what's a better word? Focused, I suppose, to get 100% on a Rockstar game. Uh, but more power to you if you are. All right, what do we got here? Brightness. Yeah, this monitor does not have HDR. What do we have? Days Gone logo should be visible. Okay, so that's the logo. And somewhere there is visible. Confirm. Days Gone, press any button. This looks very much. Now, if this goes straight into a video, I'm going to be annoyed. I'm hoping. Hey, here we go. New game and options. Okay. If you're into this sort of thing, oh, look at this, subtitles off, perfect. They know how I play. Uh, XP indicators, oh my God, I love a good XP indicator, are you kidding me? Too much wow in my youth, I think. All right, close that, that's ready for a new game. We will just have a look at what the, what does the storage requirements look like at this point? Oh, and look, we are going to snip in under line. I will let them off. I will say that it's fully installed now and it was 50 minutes for the full disk install and the day one patch. Let's have a look. Where are we at? Days gone. Total install size. Well, already. <laughs> oh, the back says 50 gig minimum. I don't think you could play it. No, you could. You could play... You could play, if you didn't do the update, you could play it with 50 gigs, but with the day one patch, you need 67 and a half gig. Very good. All right. That's it for the Let's Install. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for enjoying it. Uh, there's a bunch of other Let's Installs if you're into that sort of thing. If you're watching live now, and if you give me five minutes, this stream's gonna end, but I'll come straight back and it'll be the first Let's Play for Days Gone. I hope you can come back and join me then. Thanks guys.